This is Echo 3, and let's discuss space stations. Normally, in the stock game, I rarely use or make space stations, but they can be useful. Stations can be useful for collecting science and processing it in the lab. They can also make a good place to refuel. I have also used stations in my career saves as a location for transferring tourists or other Kerbals. This is a sandbox save, so this station is basically pointless. We can start by making our integrity station for low Kerbin orbit. The probe core will mean the station is controllable even if no Kerbals are on board. We have a science lab and some habitation room for the Kerbals. We need to make sure we have some batteries and a means of generating electricity. And lastly, we need to ensure docking ports so that the station can be docked with and added to in the future. Once our probe core is put together, we can slap on a large rocket. I'm making a Falcon 9 inspired rocket that we'll be able to recover. Since recovering first stage boosters is tricky in the stock game, I made a single stage to orbit booster that we can land back at the space center. Yes, a space plane would have been more efficient. I played the game for fun, and this is what I felt like doing. And we can slap the name on the side there, make sure everyone knows whose rocket this is. Get our action group set, staging is set. I put some reaction wheels on here for a little bit of control. Once our core section is put together, we can launch this thing. We use a gravity turn to be more efficient to get this into orbit. I have a video that demonstrates that if you are curious. According to YouTube, less than 10% of the people watching my videos are subscribed to the channel. So if you like this content, remember to tap that like button and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to turn on notifications. I aim to put this station into an orbit of approximately 100 kilometers above Kerbin. This seems to me a nice orbital altitude for a variety of reasons. First off, it can make rendezvous with the station easier because we fairly easily launch into a higher or lower orbit as needed and we can quickly meet up with the station. Secondly, it takes about 3400 meters per second of delta V to get in this orbit, which means the figures used in most delta V charts are going to be accurate. And lastly, this is a good altitude from which to eject from Kerbin for other destinations. We are low enough to take advantage of the Oberth effect, but high enough to avoid dipping into the atmosphere on longer burns. So, I find this useful uh, for a good location. After circulizing, we'll need to detach the station, and we'll detach all that. You can see I use the mod trajectories to help with calculating the landing. And we're going to come in. Landing has us predicted about right next to the space center. I threw on some air brakes on this thing and a few landing gear on the bottom. I don't really know how well this is going to work. This is my first time landing this. See if I get it right the first time. Slow, slow, up. Oh. All right, hey, safe recovery of the booster. Good. Let's build a little rocket to send some Kerbals up to the new station. This is my sandbox save, so I only have five Kerbals available we can build a craft to take all of them. This is not going to be a very fancy craft. Its only mission is to get into orbit and dock with the station and return. If you are wanting to try to copy my designs in the video, note that I have the Making History DLC and use a lot of parts from it. Other than the DLCs, I'm not using any mods that add parts to the stock game. After we get this little rocket uh, almost finished, See, I'm just doing the upper stage here. Terrier engines, all the power that's going to need. That gives way more delta V. And I'm going to add a few RCS blocks. These are the new ones in the 1.1 update. Kind of nice because they have the five ports instead of four. Just saves on part count mostly. Now we're going to make a booster to get the rest of this into orbit. And you know, I really like these engines, but one is not enough. So you can see this little trick I'm going to do. You notice I put the bottom fuel tank in two-way symmetry, and then I place the engine on it with uh, no-way symmetry, and then I place another engine on the other fuel tank with two-way symmetry, and now you'll see there's two engines on the bottom of the one fuel tank, and I place that. Now we have enough thrust-to-weight ratio to get this into orbit. We can launch this craft, and we'll launch similar to the first. You can note that since the station is ahead of us, we will launch into a lower, faster orbit in order to catch up with the station. I'm going to make use of the maneuver node and the subsequent orbit button. I have a rendezvous and docking video that goes into more detail about this, so if you're interested, you can check that out. We'll drag the prograde marker out until we can get an encounter. I will fiddle with the location 
of where exactly we're going to burn and just how much the prograde delta V is. I did right click on the orange intersect marker so it can highlight exactly how far away the encounter is supposed to be. In the end, it looks like we get a reasonable encounter here after a couple orbits. As we, here we go, we're going to make our burn. And what I will do is I'll cancel that delta V uh, node and kind of do the rest of this by eyeballing it. Just, here we go. Now I was going to close in with the station. What I do here is I really just read the nav ball and I don't look so much what's going on on the rest of the screen. I don't look at the craft. I'm going to focus on the area in between the retrograde marker, and that's relative to the target, and the target marker. So by burning in between those two, I will decrease my relative velocity and get my closest approach even closer. Once I get about this close, I'm going to switch over and just use the RCS blocks to fine tune the approach. We're going to get really close, and you can see I want my prograde marker right on top of the target marker. So we'll come in and approach carefully. This is all going to be done with the RCS. And now you can do this with just the engines if you want. I decided to use the RCS. It's just kind of fun. I have another mod that helps with docking, but I didn't use it. It's um, you probably might be able to see it on the side there. It's the docking port alignment indicator mod. And here at the very end, when I target the station's docking port, you can see it come up and that's that red dot there. It just lets you know how to aim in relation to the station. But I was able to eyeball all that and pretty much just use the docking, um, just use the, the nav ball to focus on what I needed to do. Once we transfer the crew, we can return the capsule to the surface. Since the Kerbal Space Center is on the night side, I think we should try landing somewhere else. Looks like the desert launch site is on the daylight side, so we'll make an inclination change. And again, I'll use the mod trajectories to predict where we're going to land. You can see I've pulled that up there. And it has us landing somewhere in the vicinity of the desert launch site. Again, sandbox save. It doesn't really matter. It's just kind of fun to highlight some different mods on here. And I don't actually, I didn't put any uh, electrical generation on this craft, so I've been trying to be careful with the battery usage. Looks like we're going to be safe. I'm Echo3, and thanks for joining me to discuss space stations.